All right, what's up guys? So we finally have a new campaign on Global. And as always in today's video, we're gonna check out exactly what's going on, what kind of events we're gonna be getting and uh, see if there's any surprises compared to what we already know is coming. So with that said, let's pop into the news here. And there's the campaign, it's called Two Greater Heights Super Growth Campaign. Um, let's see. So Two Greater Heights Super Growth Campaign is on. Events including a new Dokkan Fest or Dokkan event and new Extreme Z Battles will be available. Uh, don't wait, Extreme Z Battles? Like plural? Do they mean multiple Extreme Z Awakenings or actually multiple Extreme Z Battle? Oh, wait a second. No, so we should have a new Dokkan Fest Extreme Z Battle, which is, I believe, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And then the three EZAs for Goten, Trunks, and 18. So there should be multiple Extreme Z battle events. Anyways, uh, don't miss out on login bonus, missions for Dragonstones, trading items, and come join the event and bring your characters to greater heights. Okay, cool. So first things first, we have a login bonus, of course, pretty standard. And it ends on the 20th, which, uh, you know, it, ending on the 20th is a little bit early for... The countdown, I believe, to the anniversary. So maybe there's like one filler, maybe like LR banner in between, maybe Tapion. I'm not really sure. I'm not, I'm not sure how the schedule is going to work out, but you know, the countdown should start, I believe, at the very end of June, like the 30th or something like that. So maybe they will try to fit in like another LR banner, some kind of, you know, bait basically, um, right before the anniversary starts. We'll see, but it ends on the 20th. Interesting to note. And then of course we have the special missions. We have some anniversary. Oh, there we go. Okay, so countdown missions um, starting from today, okay, until the 29th. So that's when the official countdown to the anniversary should begin on the 29th. And then we have a uh, success rate for training doubled. That's nice, I guess. Some Dragonstone sales, uh, your standard sales, right? 12 stones. 32 stone pack and also 91 stone pack only three times though which is kind of i guess it's standard you know it's nothing special and then we have the dokkan festival which is dropping tonight at 10 30 p.m pacific time uh 2 30 a.m wait yeah no no so it's 11 30 oh, yeah so so it's 11 30 p.m because of the daylight savings 11 30 p.m pacific time 2 30 a.m eastern time okay before anybody gets confused it is one hour ahead Okay, they don't account for that in the news. That's why people are always so confused by the release times. But what I said, what I just said is accurate. All right, so that's when it's dropping. I most likely will be live on my channel with some live summons. There's a chance that things come up or I just fall asleep because I am pretty tired right now. But if I don't fall asleep early, then uh, I'll definitely be live. And usually we are live, so you can probably look forward to that. Worst comes to worst. I'll do a stream tomorrow at some point. We'll see. We'll see. And then we have uh, a Gifted Warriors category summit, which of course is the new category led by the new Goten and Trunks. We have Elder Kai banner, standard, the new Dokkan event for Goten and Trunks, and then Extreme Z battle for uh, AGL Goten, Fizz, Trunks, and STR18. And if you guys missed my video from earlier today, they are absolutely amazing uh these three extremes the awakenings for non dokkan fest units extremely extremely good like no pun intended i know it's extremes the awakening but they're just extremely good man they they did a great job with all three ezas so i'm very much looking forward to that a lot and then uh we have a new virtual dokkan doesn't make clash which also oh also drops today interesting so a lot of stuff dropping tonight at the same time we got the eza we got the banner we got the New Ultimate Clash, a couple of story events returning, the Warrior Race one, or the Saiyan Saga one, uh, Bio Broly event, of course, and then we have the Raditz event. Ooh, interesting. Is Raditz, I guess, new? Actually, no, I was going to say World Tournament, but they would have said World Tournament at the front if we were in the beginning, if we had a new World Tournament, so probably not. But uh, we also have the Videl um, story event too, and there we go. We have, okay, so return of the Rad, it's EZA, by the way. And Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, EZA dropping on the 10th. So in about two weeks, just under two weeks, actually. Um, amazing EZA, guys. 
amazing easy A. I know the tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is going to be on the Goten and Trunks banner, but realistically, there's no reason to use tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, even with his Extreme Z Awakening, when this easy A comes out, because it is just so much better. Um, it's not even comparable. It's really not. Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, the Fizz one, this one getting the easy A is so, so good. So... Very, very much looking forward to that. And then we have the Youth Category Summon. And uh, we also have some Extreme Z Battle Tickets in the Pilaf's Trove. There's the actual Extreme Z Battle Event. And then some uh, Dokken Events available daily. The Cell, LR Cell Event. Uh, rather, just the Perfect Cell Event. Um, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And then Omega Shenron. And also some other reopened or returning ZAs for Perfect Cell. And also... Uh, Omega Shenron, a new chain battle, everybody's favorite favorite event. I know I say that every time, it's probably getting old, but um, I'm not a big fan of it, but I do always need more skill orbs, you know, level 5 attacks, level 5 crits and additionals, so I do look forward to the rewards every time, I just don't love it as an actual mode, you know. Uh, so yeah, this one's against Super Saiyan Trunks, Super Saiyan Teen Trunks. And uh, that's also coming out on the 10th, along with the uh, EZAs and also the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks Extreme Z Awakening. And uh, after that, some more three events, a bunch of three events coming back on the 10th. Let's see. Okay, so we got the um, Unknown Battle of Gods and Majin. And then we also have... Uh, oh, this one is actually pretty solid. The Supreme Kai and West Supreme Kai will be good for farming the... You know, super attacks of uh, Supreme Kai's and the West Supreme Kai, respectively. And then we have these three DB Saga, or Dragon Ball story events, um, for the LR Goku and Arale, which, for a free-to-play LR, pretty damn solid. Hits really damn hard, actually, so if you guys don't have them done, then I think this is definitely worth the grind. And then we have the, uh, you know, Great Saiyan Man's story event as well. And, ooh, okay, so Weekend Banner coming back too. Okay, so last thing here, we got the Weekend Summon Login Bonus, Weekend Summon Special Missions, and of course these two give you the tickets, and then the Weekend Summon Banner itself, starting on the 18th, and uh, ending on the 4th of July, which would be right before the anniversary. So, there you go. Got another Weekend Banner Login Bonus Mission thing going on, so that's kind of cool. And uh, let's quickly check out these anniversary countdown missions. I believe it's just for logins. Uh, let's see. There are two types of countdown missions. Basic missions and advanced missions. Advanced missions will be available throughout the event period. And the basic missions will be updated every week. Complete various missions to get up to 66 celebration summon tickets while counting down to the anniversary. Okay, so taking a look at the missions here. Uh, undergo training three times, five times, and ten times. And then the advanced missions are Z Awaken 6 characters, activate 266 nodes, consume at least 600 stamina, use a support item, and clear a stage 66 times, clear a stage using only super attack 66 times, and log in for a total of 25 days. And these tickets are... Let me see... Um, yeah, so these are not for the 66 unit multi. I think it's a little bit confusing because they do say 66 tickets, but it's not for the guaranteed LR multi, okay? It's for the, like, regular um, anniversary banner we get every year, you know? Like the 5th anniversary banner, 4th anniversary, 3rd anniversary, so... Um, yeah, it's not for the guaranteed LR, just to be clear. It's for the regular banner, which is still good. That's still a lot of summons, right? 66 tickets is significant, but the actual guaranteed LR tickets... You know, the 66 tickets we get for the 66 unit multi will be available throughout the celebration, throughout the anniversary. Okay, so this is just for the regular banner. But that's cool, man. Do these missions, get your tickets for some potentially, you know, free LRs. And as far as the login bonus goes, I'm guessing one stone per day. Yep, one stone per day, training items, awakening medals, uh, training locations, a couple of Kai's, a couple of Hercule statues. Nothing really special. And then special missions, um, up to 32 dragon stones, okay, and your other standard rewards as well. So nothing, 
really to see there either. And that is it, guys. That is your celebration. Um, it's not bad. All things, all things considered, we're getting a new chain battle, a new ultimate clash, uh, two new Extreme Z battles with four Extreme Z awakenings, right? And only thing that could have made it better, I guess, was a world tournament, but it's okay. It's actually not bad for a campaign that's going to last about two, actually about three weeks. Okay, so it might get a little bit dry. <laughs> there might be some dry periods in there, but don't worry, guys. The anniversary is coming, so even if it gets a little bit boring, even if it gets a little bit dry, just know that we got something huge right around the corner. And... I guess that's all there is to it, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Look forward to my Goten and Trunk summons. And uh, obviously, we're going to be doing, you know, streams or videos for the other events too. Like the Clash, the uh, Chain Battle, all that stuff. And uh, that's all I got to say, man. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.